Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and uh, we're back at the pig port. <laughs> we're back at uh, Justin's uh, pig port that I helped him make and helped him build. Uh, this is his design, and we're making some little bit modifications on it. <laughs> what we're doing is extending the pig area out. Uh, not so much of a deep bedding, but just a, more access for the pigs to get in if they choose to. It's gonna be all cattle panels, so wall here, kind of like an L-shaped, and then we're gonna add a door, and then we're gonna have uh, this door open up, just like a regular door, so this bottom part's gonna open up also. Um, and that's so the pigs can come in if they choose to and, and out. And I'm getting kind of a late start, but uh, it's supposed to be a beautiful day today, and let's see how much I could get done. So what do you think? I good? think I think it's awesome. I'm pretty happy with this. <laughs> it's great. I think it'll get more room. They'll have more room. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, it's breezy. Yeah. Feel it's, that breeze? It's nice. And they were protected from that with the 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 tin, and so now now they could come out and get the breeze if they want to. Come on, everybody's got 240 square feet, right? You're gonna have to get the carport anyway. <laughs> right. You might as well fill it up. I still we still managed to put a storage working area in it yeah. which is what i liked about the extra space that's still there it's minimal it's all we need why not put the pigs in there right yeah i think i could do this <laughs> i'm gonna convince you before it's over okay <laughs> i know you're gonna be doing this it's bound to happen <laughs> next year. next year you're doing this yeah <laughs> all right uh the pig port's done but i think i think it's actually the pig palace now so not not that bad of a day. <laughs> Went pretty quick. Uh, we basically just extended uh, the pig area to the entire carport. I mean, the pigs are already using it. <laughs> Try to keep it pretty simple, basic. Um, just really just a basic door. And again, pretty much uh, how I built the first portion of it. And basically cattle panels or hog panels with some zip ties and then made a Dutch door so that way the pigs can go in and out. 
Really simple design. I will put a link in the description of uh, Justin's video on this day. I think it's kind of neat uh, where we have two YouTubers and he's doing his day on his channel and then I'm doing my day on my channel, but we're at the same place. <laughs> uh, I think it's just kind of interesting, kind of two different perspectives on the day. All right, we're just getting back from Justin's house. Always a good time hanging out with them. <laughs> but now we're back in our garden. I wanna show you what's growing. Radish, I totally forgot I, was pl I planted these. Look at that. Wow. Now that it's warmer out and our garden's planted, no matter what we're doing for today, no matter what we're doing at any day, you can always find us in the garden at the end of the day. What is that, Penelope? My mm, sweet peas. Mm, sweet peas. Let me see. All right, they're finally producing, huh? Mm. All right, good job. You know, I might be in the wood shop. I might be editing video. Uh, you know, might be working somewhere else, or my wife is out uh, with our daughter. Uh, but you can always find us here at the end of the day, and it's almost like we do it organically and not maybe not thinking about it and it just happens naturally we got to get these tomatillos steak they're falling all over the place oh man <laughs> and we always kind of migrate to the garden where we talk about our day we're pulling weeds harvesting vegetables soon and we're just talking about our day catching up kind of winding down our day it's almost like we talk about our day we talk about our dreams and just hang out in the garden. And these moments is what makes this lifestyle worth every part of it. <laughs>